Hello, it's Andy Graham of Digital Nomad Traveler or HoboTraveler.com. I've traveled the planet now for over 15 years and gone to 90 countries. Uh, but photographers are, you know, you should be able to anticipate. You have to anticipate a photo and you have to be able to take the photo. And at the end of the day, uh, there's a lot of problems here because um, when you leave the country, you'll suddenly the ability to get on Amazon.com and order a part. And do it. Um, real, real like National Geographic type photography or going out to the jungle. I just came from Togo, West Africa, and I had a problem. Um, I'll, I'll explain it. Uh, I had one of these little tripods, and I had made these little makeshift uh, tripods that I could put put this down in the top of these things and uh, yeah, so I had come up with a special technique of making a tripod because I really can't it's very, very it's very difficult to carry a lot of equipment I mean I live out of a backpack I have only you know 50 pounds 22 kilos I can carry and Truthfully, I'm strong. The average person won't even carry that because uh, they don't want to carry the weight. So, but what do you really need if you want to survive and still be taking photos after everybody else doesn't? Well, this is it. This is just a little tripod. I bought it in Myers for three dollars. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I just bought three of them. Okay, why? because I had a couple of them and I lost them. I don't know, I probably took it off, put it down on the table, and then I walked away, okay, and I couldn't find one. And so I had no way to make a tripod, even no matter how clever I was. So I consider this the essential one. But let's, let's, let's take it further. What do you do if you lose that? And you want to still be taken photos from a tripod or putting videos because videos are going to be the future in the future I don't think uh, I don't think the internet will be it'll be just like continuous on-demand TV everybody will be making videos that's my opinion I made another tripod I took and I bought a screw I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this this is how I haven't got an extra camera right now but I got a little sound device you put put this on top of the thing and then you can actually make everything else you want any, in any country if you got something that will <laughs> screw into the bottom of the camera. All cameras have this little hole. You may not know it, but they all have this little hole in the bottom, uh, little screw, female screw slot where you can screw in a thing. So this is my sound detector, I, but I'll, I'll pretend it's a camera. Okay, so I lost this part and I couldn't come together. Uh, so what I did is I bought a screw that went in here and I could hold it. So now I'm carrying two screws and I'll probably carry three of these little tripods. They're so small that they don't take up any room really. They're very very small. I got another tripod I found that's better but then I can make bigger tripods out of plastic and I've, I've shown you these videos in the past but I then took one of these screws and then I took a clothes hanger and I made a, a tripod. I'll show you how I did that in a different video but basically you can you can uh, be innovative and you have to adapt. If you want to survive and still be taking photo photos after everybody else is depressed you have to adapt and basically uh, buying the equipment is not a photographer. A photographer is a person to me that can take the photo in spite of all the problems. I mean when it starts raining what are you going to do when the air conditioning makes your lens fog over. There's a thousand problems that come. come. It's, it's never ideal. Getting one photo is nothing. Getting 50 good photos is something. Now I'm, I'm not... Uh, I have sold photo photography. I've made two thousand dollars selling photos to National, not, not National Geographic, uh, 
Rough Guide West Africa. And why did I make it? It's because I was in the location. It had nothing to do with my ability so much as much as it did that I was in the right place to take the photos. And that's where I think photographers really screw up. They think that they're going to take the ideal photo, but they refuse to go to the location to take it. If you get in the right place where a photo is valuable, you can probably sell them. Okay, so what do I consider your two essential? You, you got these same kind of things with these great big long legs. They're really huge and they wrap around. And truly, they're, I, I consider them kind of a, they're nice, but they're really big and they're kind of awkward. What have I always done? Am I going to take my $400 camera, my $800 camera, my $2,000 camera, and just wrap it around a, a tree limb and just let it sit there? Come on. Be serious. I've actually done this, right? It's not... It's kind of nerve-wracking when you think, if that camera falls, I'm going to lose uh, bounces off the concrete. I lose, I don't know, $500, $1,000, $2,000. So what do you do? You take these things, you wrap it around, <laughs> and you wrap a bunch of tape around it. That's the real life situation. That's survival photography. Um, it's not just trying to buy a solution. It's what really works. You take one of these, you wrap it around, you tape it up there, then you put the camera on it, and it don't fall. Okay, so what do I consider essential ingredients? If you want to always be taking photography photos, and you really don't want to be one of these guys that buys everything on the shelf and can't leave the United States because he never quite has enough equipment. All you need is a couple of these screws that fit in the bottom of your camera and this. You can't buy this in every country on the planet. I just I learned this, but you can always buy one of these screws. So at the end of the day, if you really want to try five, to make one, do it. So I consider this the essential stay in business keep taking fo photos, keep making videos, think, yes, of course it's nice if we have all this equipment, but when you don't and you, you leave the country and you're in a place where you could actually sell the photo, you got you to gotta adapt, you got to survive, and that's what survival of the fittest is about, it's about adapting. Okay, Andy Graham, Digital Nomad, trying to sh sh tell you how to <laughs> keep taking photos, keep taking videos, keep keep uh, being a digital nomad, Andy Graham plus hobotraveler.com.